Let's wind the clock back to the beginning of the pandemic. 2020, as COVID-19 spread, Beijing slapped 20 billion Australian dollars worth of sanctions on Australian goods like wine and lobsters. This, after Canberra called on the WHO to investigate the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. A sign that Beijing will use its economic leverage to punish trading partners over political disputes. The Ukraine war changed the security calculus in the world. As China declared a no-limits friendship with Russia, anxieties about China's signals towards Taiwan also increased. The U.S. and some of its allies banned the sale of advanced semiconductors to China, citing concerns about their military use. China fired back, clamping down on exports of two crucial metals, gallium and germanium, needed to make semiconductors. And later, it curbed exports of graphite, used to manufacture EVs. Over in the U.S. in August 2023, Wall Street was issued a directive. U.S. investors are no longer allowed to invest in areas with sensitive technologies and products, like AI and microelectronics, in China. As de-risking intensified, global investors pull out over 210 billion U.S. dollars from Chinese stock and bond markets. Foreign investments in China become negative for the first time since 1998. With de-risking becoming a buzzword in boardrooms, China had a message in press rooms. We 